shop and I asked you on the phone, will you marry me? And you said, this not a proper proposal. <laughs> and so um, I think the second time I asked you to marry me. I was driving to LA. You was driving to LA and, and I didn't even get down on one knee. We've been together for 20 years. You changed my life in so many ways. You made me a better man. You made me a stronger man. You're the only woman that gave me affirmation. And you always told me that you're a good man. You're a good father. You're a loving man. And with that confidence and that affirmation, it just made me love you even more. It made me love you even more because you're a Christian woman. You're a godly woman. And God said, if a man finds a good wife, he finds a good thing. Jesus. And I said, God, I got a good thing. <laughs> I just want to thank you for all the patience that you had. I know sometimes I can be a tyrant, and you put up with me. So I'm going to ask you, oh, oh, oh. you marry me? Yes, again and again and again and again. I love you so. From the depths of my heart, Nathan, I have loved you for 21 years, married to you for 20. We rode this train together, <laughs> children and all. And I remember you telling the kids when we first got together, look, you guys can be all the fool you want, but you're going to be gone. This is going to be my wife. <laughs> so y'all better figure out a way to get along. And after that, it was just smooth sailing for the two of us. Dealing with the children, but you've been a faithful husband, a good husband, a loving husband. Six months into our marriage, I had to have a hip replacement. But the, of course, everybody blames you for it. But, <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> you took care of me, you fed me, you bathed me, you walked with me, you talked with me, you prayed with me. Then I knew I had married the right man. Mm -hmm. So you kiss a lot of frogs along the way. But my prince came my way. Okay. Thank you. I love you.